fastball. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Mirakami finds some space out there for the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. Still no score. Second inning coming up, and Heidi Watney has an update for us on the weather forecast. Well, Matt, the weather forecasts I'm hearing down here point to a fairly significant threat of rain later in the ball game. Of course, the grounds crew and umpires will work to get this one in without delay, but they also told me that they won't hesitate to halt the game to let the weather pass through if it's impacting the play on the field or, of course, putting the safety of the players at risk. For now, we'll have to wait and see how things develop. Yeah, Heidi, thanks. Safety of the players, of course, and uh, players getting required rest at the end of the night becomes important. When you guys approached a game like this, did you know you were in for a long one? You hope not, but you knew it potentially could happen. You kind of read the grounds crew. If they were running and scattering in the dugouts and running towards the tarp, you kind of prepared yourself that this one was going to get shut down at some point. But you got to stay focused. That pitcher doesn't care. He's trying to take food off your table. Throw is in time for the first out of the second. Hey, let's take a look at the Dodgers on defense. And one of the main backbones for them out on the field today is the guy behind the dish. He controls the entire flow of the game, manipulates a pitching staff, gets them through the game, and not only that, completely shuts down a running game. Standing in now, Goto. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. No, oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove, and he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. That softly hit to right. Will that get down? Yes, it will. He's got himself a one-out single. You know, it's funny. The first two strikes are for the fans. You're trying to put balls in the seats right there. With two strikes, it's for the team. you got to shorten up and find a way, and that's exactly what he did right there. Soft liner into right field for a base hit. Into the box, Chang Ho Bong. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Bong has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield, and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them, but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate, it's incredibly strong, certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to, and it's impressive to watch. Yeah, anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Goto stands at first with one out. Three and oh now. And how about the uncommon patience for the rookie in a big spot right here? These have been some tough pitches to lay off. Three and O pitch, and he That's lays off here. Thank a nice you, job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. That is that. The catcher. You. So now here is you on looking to put them ahead early with this at bat. First pitch on its way. Hey. With some traffic on the base pass. Nice job by the pitcher to execute strike one. 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. One and two to the Yankees catcher. No score here as we play inning number two. And a good pitch here, but this is taken for a ball as the count moves to two and two now on the Yankee catcher. Hot shot on the ground is short. Scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit, one left. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And next will be the speedy catcher, Ross Houston. Houston. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh. That's by him for strike one. One one is looked at for ball number two. Two and two to the Dodgers catcher. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3-2. Murakami will wait on it. One down. That is good. The first All right, here's how the Bronx Bombers are going to set up defensively today. And guys, the things I want you to focus on today, one of them being this manager loves to shift. He has the pitching staff to trust to be able to manipulate his defense to try and get as many outs and play the numbers as much as he can. At the plate now, DeAndre Ogden as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Nope. Fastball right. just misses. That's ball one. Hey. Oh, good action on the two seamer there, one and it's one and two. And the pitch. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw on to first, two gone. Digging in next, William Schultz. First pitch of the A-B now. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. Goto will put this one away, and the side is retired. Dodgers down in order. Will move to the third with no score. Now at the plate, number seven. This will be his first trip to the plate in this one. Number seven. Here it comes. Ball one. Ball one. Ball I love one. everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. 
He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. 2-0 and now. Two and one after the foul ball there. And he can't yeah, catch the corner out. here, so he's behind three and one. You can bet they love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Hard hit ball to second. He's got it. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Batting up. The pitcher. Number 71. Digging in will be number 71. He'll get his first shot with the bat here. Come set. Here's the nothing and nothing hey. pitch. And a high strike there. 0 oh and 1. Hey. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0 and 2 now. Your idea of working the count goes out the window. You're frustrated right now. Down 0 2. Got to find a way to grind. And they'll try one to ball. bounce a curveball on 0-2, but he holds back. It's 1-2 and two now. Well, facing an AL pitcher at the plate, you certainly don't want to waste too many bullets on him. I expect this next pitch to be grooved right down the middle. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. Bella back to the track as he takes it for route number two. Now that number 12. Next for New York, Nakayama. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now here's the first offering. 1 0. You got to be careful with this guy here. He can really handle the bat. Even though they're two outs, he might try to drop one down for a base hit. Third inning, no score to this point. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge, and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field as the Yankees will grab a one to nothing lead. Baseball has really changed. Remember when leadoff guys were guys that would just draw walks and steal bases? But that's not the case anymore. Guys like this, they have pop in their bat, and they can go deep. To the plate now, Hiroshi Mirakami. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. The 1-0. Misses off the plate. Boy, you don't see that very often out of a rookie. That's a 2 0 count, and both of those pitches were really close. This guy has a pretty good eye. In the dirt, it's 3 0 now. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. 3-0, here it is. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. The Yankees are off and running early thanks to the solo home run.
We play two and a half. Now one nothing Yanks. So now to the plate, Horatio De Leon, 7, 8, and 9 to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. On the ground to the right side. Fielded cleanly. And quickly, there's one down to lead off the frame. Batting eight. The center fielder. Marcus Pinheiro. Next for the Dodgers, Marcos Pinheiro. First pitch on the way. All one. Set and the 1 0 pitch. Aye. And he looks at a slider in there, 1 and 1. Ball. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. Ball three. And this one's low here, so the count swells to 3 and 1. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. The three one. Well located fastball right there. If he can continue to do that, he'll pitch deep into this one. count here it comes and he takes ball four so he's on and as you know that often means the steal could be in order here and I'm sure the manager is just fine with that I mean it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you next up number 45 first trip to the plate for him in the ball game. Now the pitch. In there. Now the throw. In time as he just gets the tag down. Well, he showed a lot of patience to work out that walk, but it got erased pretty quickly. Always hate to give outs away on the base pass, especially when you've gotten on base for free. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Dodgers pitcher trying to deal with a one and two count at the plate. Scorched to third, scooped up. For the first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. It remains 1 0. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first, Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up. And he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. 
Digging in now for the Yankees. Park. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First pitch on its way. Whoa, that's start him with a sinker here, but that sinks a bit too much that time. It's 1 and 0. Oh. Two and zero to the Yankees left fielder. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to three and zero. Fiftieth pitch of the game on its way. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now that. So with one away let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning and boy which of those two numbers leap out at you there how about the 100 my goodness so now it'll be the four hole hitter Hideki Chu comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. Boy, that would look like a cinch extra base hit off the bat, but a terrific diving catch in left center field. Stepping in now, Goto grounded down the third baseline. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three, but they're up one to nothing. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And that'll bring forth the rookie outfielder, Vladimir Inoa. Still a big bagel in that hit column. And this is where the frustration can start setting in on a team if they're not careful. It's never a good feeling when you know the guy out there on the mound is completely shutting you down. Now the 1-0. Runs a bit inside for a ball. Two zero on the way. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it. One gone. I'll tell you right now, this guy has a shutout going and it's been all no business. Guys. He's not Why messing around trying to pick at corners. He's being aggressive in the zone and he's attacking each and every one of these hitters up to this point. Into the box now. Jesus Vela. And a check swing here. They'll appeal it down to third. No swing, says Woody Keller. It's ball one. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. Rip down the first base line. And they'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Good 
So now into the box is Benjamin Joss. He flew out in his last A.B. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. No balls and a strike to count. And here's a curveball in the one dirt strike. that time for a ball. One and one. Now here's the pitch. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and then get right back outside. Nice pitch. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. The 2-2. Two -two. Is in off the plate. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. No runs, no hits, no errors for the Dodgers thus far. Oh, and he lets him off the hook there as this isn't even close for ball four. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. And now here is Ross Houston, man at first after the two-out walk. He's set. Here it comes. And a pitch out, nothing doing though, and that's ball one. Joss, the runner at first with two gone. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in safely. The 1-0. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. The 1-1. That Let's see if the right runner is smarter. With a guy who's got some jets on first base, almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. One runner goes. Strike taken. The throw, and it's far too late as he steals second with ease. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. The two-two. Well, holy shit, he is. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Look out. Don't want to hit him there. It's full three and two. Well, what do you do when guys keep fouling pitches off like this? I guess you could back them off the plate by throwing one inside. The payoff pitch. 
Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Yanked hard but foul to the right. He's got a good feel for his off-speed pitch his second time through the order. And we just saw three in a row. He set the payoff pitch. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. And they take the lead. It's gone. So a two-run shot to left center. And the Dodgers run. It's two to one. And with one swing at a bat, he shows you why he's dripping with tools. He's got the speed. He's got the power. You don't know how to attack this guy. You can't put him on base with a knock or a walk or he'll just end up on second or third. And if you leave something over the heart of the plate, that's what can happen. I figured that his running fast bull will be catching up to him. In now, DeAndre Ogden. As he'll send a ground ball down to third. Over to first, and that retires the side. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We played four, two to one Los Angeles. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the rookie third baseman, Chang Ho Bong. Ready to deal, here comes the first pitch. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. And now pitch on the way. Inside, ball one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Nice. Three and two. We got three balls and two strikes. Hit down the third baseline. Fielded cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. That was an exciting play at first there and will employ show track for a better look. Knowing he really had to let it loose to beat the runner, he fired off a 90-mile-an-hour throw. That's not a number you'll see very often from an infield throw, so he really showed off the arm that time. Standing in now, you on a swing and a high drive to right center field. Center fielder going back and a climbing attempt at the wall, but this ball is gone. Solo shot to right center as the Yankees have tied things up. It's two to two. No surprise with that swing of the bat. This guy is simply one of the best in the game right now. There's not too many guys that take a beautiful hack like that in the league. 
Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Hiroki Uchida will come on. Now is the pinch hitter. Ian Mann is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. Omar Pagan is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Riley Bowyer is also into the game as he takes over at short. Alan West is into the game as well as he's the new first baseman. Leotis Rochigol is also into the ball game as he'll likely go the rest of the way behind the plate. Cody Oswald will also enter as he takes over at third base. First pitch on its way. One one is taken for ball two. The two one. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a ball foul tip straight into the catcher's glove as he's able to hold on for the second out. We know he's probably still thinking about that game tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. Blake now, number 71. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. No, Knuckle no. curve is off the bottom edge. Two balls and no strikes. My bet is he's getting the take sign now on 2-0. If he's having a hard time throwing strikes to the pitcher, you might as well let him work himself into trouble. Here it comes. Sinker, and that's ruled strike two. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs, insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things... Hit high and deep out there to left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run.
So a solo shot here to left center field as the Yankees move out in front here it's now three to two. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Dodger manager making his way toward the mound and a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. Jesus Tinoco the six foot four inch right hander comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. Into the box, Nakayama. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. One for two in the ball game thus far. Oh and one, here it comes. Nope, ball one. Ball. Down low, two balls and a strike. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. That ball. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor three and one. The three one. No, and he misses ball, ball four, break. so he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The batter, the center fielder. Stepping in next, Hiroshi Mirakami, as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Here's the first pitch. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Falls behind now, 2 and 0. Oh. That can be one of the downfalls of pitching out. It puts you behind in the count, and if you throw another ball, you're kind of in a difficult spot. Two zero -oh count. The pitch swung on and hammered. No doubt about this one. Watch it fly. Gone. So it's a two run shot to right center and just like that it's now a 5 2 ball game. Well sometimes runs come in bunches and that's definitely the case in this inning. That's three count them three home runs in this frame alone four for the game. Did someone throw a home run derby they didn't tell me about sure looks that way.
now. Park. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Down and away, ball one. Four runs here in this half inning. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Now the pitch. Shatters the bat as this is hit on the ground. Bends down and he barehands it. He's wow. Out. So four runs in the inning, but of note there was that they came on the strength of three home runs. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Yankees lead it 5-2. to two. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, during the break, I caught up with Dave Roberts, the Dodgers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far, and he told me the quality of their swings needs to improve as the game moves forward. He said they're doing a decent job of putting the ball in play, but far too many of their swings are resulting in soft contact and ground outs. The adjustment that they're talking about down here is forcing the ball up in the zone, laying off anything from the knees down, and punishing anything they get in the middle to upper part of the zone. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Now playing number 27, Mitoki Saito. Won Young Song will also enter as he takes over at third base. Number 8, Won Young Song. Number 12 is also into the ball game now as he takes over at second. Kazuhiro Kwan will also come in now as he takes over out in center. Now playing center. Number 21. Jiwon Bay is also into the ball game as he'll assume duties in left field. Now playing Number Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Oh, Omar Pagan is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. 1-0. and And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. The 1-0 home is a slider yeah. taken for a ball. Side oh, three and oh now. Well, that's ball three. The Dodgers right now would love to start this inning off with a walk anyway to get this leadoff guy on.
To short. And safe at first on a bang-bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat the throw. Boy, that's what wheels can do for you, Dero. You can see this right here on this replay. He just simply outruns the white rabbit. He just outruns the baseball. Yeah, it's beautiful to watch. You know why? Because this is the one tool you can't teach. You can take countless ground balls. You can hit till your hands bleed. But if you got no wheels, newsflash, you got no wheels. So now to the plate, Cody Osborne. And a first pitch swing, he hits a fly ball to left center. Bay will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Up next to the Dodgers, the center fielder, Marco Pinheiro. Ready now is Marcos Pinheiro. Worked a walk his first time up. Now a throw over, and he'll get back in standing. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. Ready. Here's the 1-0. And they pitch out here, but nothing's happening. Ball two. Pagan leads off first with one away. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and oh. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. It was obvious when the count ran the 2-0 and oh that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Jesus Tinoco. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth as he was a late entrant into this one. As a look, now the pitch. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Looked like a slider perhaps, but it missed badly and it's... Two and oh. Boy, this hole he's digging on the mound is all his doing. If you can't throw strikes, you're not going to be out there very long. Here it comes, two and oh. Two balls and a strike now. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Now the 2-1 pitch. Count even at 2-2. Two and two. From the belt, the pitch. There's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if they have to incorporate that into their mindset. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Now he gets the ground ball to first. This might be two. One there. On to the pitcher covering, and it's in time. A double play, and the inning is over. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. We're through five here at the ballpark. It's the Yankees five and the Dodgers two. Out of the plate, number 12 is getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. 
From the stretch. Now a big swing, and this ball is crushed out to deep center field. On to the lawn and gone. So it's a solo shot to dead center as they open it up to six to two now. Who says hitting isn't contagious? These guys have been feeding off each other all game and five home runs as the result. I'll tell you, you might see some scuffles in the on-deck circle between guys fighting to get to the plate. Thomas Peters takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Number 46, Thomas Peters. Into the box now. Goto. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Here's the 0-1. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. To so two balls and two strikes now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Pinheiro is underneath this one. One gone. The third base, number eight. One yard. Song. So here is one young song. One run in and one gone so far in this inning. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to first. And that's through for a hit. Pitcher's got to stay on his toes right there. You never know who in this lineup is going to pull out the old ambush. Knock to right right there. You on will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle innings. This was a turning point here. A solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ball game to this point. A look over to first no, and the runner back. Ready with the first pitch. Hey. Here it comes. Hoping to discourage a steal attempt with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game, Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. A pitch out. The throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Mm -hmm. 
Song, the runner at second with one away. Helping him out here as he swings and misses to fall behind a ball and two strikes. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup, adjust the batting gloves, only look over the heart of those 17 inches. Hit back up the middle, scooped up, and there's out number two. Had to protect there with two strikes, and he just got it off the end of the bat. Not much of a problem for the infield at that point. And stepping in, Hiroki Uchida, runner in scoring position with Sudan. First offering on its way. One A ball and no strikes. Two outs here with a runner at third. What you and get? now a check swing, but did he hold up in time? No, swung the bat, says Clyde Washington at strike one. Slap hard the opposite way. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Outside of taking a ball in the seats, Dan, these were my favorite knocks to get. Two outs, man on third, and you're able to upset that entire team, including that pitcher, with a late two-out ribby knock. And it's so frustrating from a pitcher standpoint, Dero. You kind of you're in trouble. You're one pitch away from getting out of some trouble. Make one bad pitch, a base hit. The inning continues, and another run batted in. Number 71 stands in as he looks at ball one here. Pitcher at the plate with a one and one count. Splitter taken here, two and one. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher, but sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. The Yankees lead this one 7-2. to two. Striding in is Ian Mann. They'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its own. Groove in this one. Yeah, let's see if he can work a walk, maybe a knock, ground ball with eyes, something. Catch a gap to get this offense going. Two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on and start some traffic in motion, we might have something. Nice play by the right fielder right there, getting on his horse into the corner and holding that guy to a single. You know, one of the things you like to have is some foot speed and a strong, accurate arm. It helps getting to the ball right there, make that guy rounding first think twice about going ahead and trying for second base. Bay is there, and he makes the catch for the out. Next up for Los Angeles, Riley Bowyer is getting his first plate appearance of the game here in the sixth. He's set and the pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Saito in a few steps as he takes it. Two down. On to first and they get the double play. One hit in the inning but that gets erased. Seventh inning coming up. 
Well, with the rain coming down as it is, we are in for a long delay. The hope is now that they can get this one in at some point. Now, this is this is where it becomes tricky for the managers right now. You have your pitchers out there. You have to be careful not to hurt anybody. So I think the guys that are sitting in the bullpen are, are on red alert as, as the delay has begun. And I'm sure both of the managers have a pretty good idea of who's going to be the pitcher to go in after this delay. And welcome back inside the ballpark as the weather has finally cleared up. Edwin Yusida takes the mound now as the new pitcher following the rain delay that lasted an eternity, so it seemed. And it appears we're just about set to resume. Evan Fitterer will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Leading off the inning, it'll be Lee. Yotis Rochigal, and they could use a spark from him here. Hit hard up the middle. He's got it. And a good throw gets him one gun. Now it'll be Allen West. First pitch on its way. High in the air out to center field. Quan is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. So stepping in is Omar Pagan. First pitch of the A.B. now. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Center fielder looking up to the track to the wall. And it's gone. Solo shot to right center as it's now a 7-3 game. Well, if you're just joining us, that's the seventh home run hit so far in this game. Really unbelievable stuff. Damn, please, Zach. Somebody please stop the bleeding. His pitching staff on both sides are getting absolutely embarrassed. This is one of those days, D-Row, when you're sitting watching this game as a bullpen. You see this starting to unfold on both sides of the plate. This is one as a bullpen guy you're sitting out there going, Oh, Mr. Wizard, I don't want to be a pitcher today. Davey Garcia takes over pitching duties, looking to get that final out now here in this seventh inning. High and deep to center field. Looking up is the center fielder. And this one is gone. A home run. This has been quite a hitting display from both sides. That's home run number eight on the day. Matty V, I don't know what this is. Hero, is this bad pitching or good hitting? I think you have to credit both offenses today. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the shot. Three! Out! He's out! So the lineup flips over and digging in. Ian Mann singled in his last at bat. Ground ball right side. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. And now in the box, Jesus Vela flew out last time up. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. Throw gets him. Two down. Akira Hashimoto enters here. to get the final out before the ninth inning. Stepping up is Riley Bowyer. Only four outs remaining for them to try and rally back in this one. Right to him. And how about that right out of the bullpen? A ground ball on one pitch and the inning is over. One, two, three. And now Hiroki Uchida. And to start out the inning, it looks like they've decided to stick with the same reliever. 
Hooper out there, Dan. They have, Matt. I think the way he pitched the last inning kind of inspired that. But it's not uncommon for relief pitchers to have troubles after they sit and watch their guys swing the bat a bit. We'll see if he stays as sharp as he was before. Camilo Duvall. from the pen to start the three. Three. number 56 is on and he'll take over on the mound in relief first pitch of the AB on its way line to the right side that gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So the Dodgers get their leadoff hitter on base to kick off the inning. Hey, excellent job right there, leading off the inning with a base hit. we got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Now the 0-1. He's running again. Hit hard on the ground a second. And that's through for a base hit. Make him one for two in this one. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second. 